So, uh, I'm gonna make one of my favorite meals of all time right now, fish tacos. There's honestly no time in my life that I wouldn't just love a lovely plate of fish tacos, a nice cold beer, and be sat somewhere sunny. So what I've got here is some fantastic cod, which is the basis of it, which I'm gonna make a little batter for. Then I've got some tortillas, a little pico de gallo, which is a salsa, some uh, cabbage, and avocado and lime juice. It's so simple, but delicious. So first thing I'm gonna do is make my batter mix. So in here I've got some plain flour, some baking powder, and some salt. So I'm just gonna pop that into a big bowl. And I've got some ice cold um, Cornish lager here. And I'm gonna do 275 mils of that. So, and I'm just gonna whisk that into the batter mix. You can just use water, but you know, fish tacos and beer go so well together. And also the added bubbles really help it, a bit like a tempura, it sort of froths up and um, makes it lovely, light and crispy. And as with all batters, you make them up a bit of an advance of time and let them rest for a bit. It doesn't matter about a few lumps, because like I say, the beer will smooth it all out when it actually gets into the oil. So that's it, it's sort of the consistency of double cream. So let that rest. And now I'm gonna make my salsa. So this is gonna very simple salsa here. I've got some tomato, which I'm gonna turn into concas. So I'm just gonna take the insides out and dice. I've got some shallot here. You can use onion, but like Anthony Bourdain used to say, uh, every good chef knows to substitute an onion for a shallot because shallots are just wonderful flavour, really, really nice, especially raw, but equally nice when they're cooked and things. And I really recommend people try them out as an alternative to onion. So there I've got some my pico de gallo coming together, a little bit of lime juice, some salt. I've got a little bit of green chilli here, give it a little bit of kick, but nothing too over the top. coriander. Roll it up into a ball, so you only have to chop it once. Give that a little mix together. Lovely. So here we've got the pico de gallo, the, the tomato salsa, some fresh avocado with lime and sea salt, and just a little bit of shredded cabbage. So now the batter's made, the salads are made, now I just need to make my fish into Nice little fish finger sized goujons to put into the batter. Got some cod here, and I'm just gonna skin it using a, using a nice bendy knife. Run against the board. So, take the skin off, and then I'm gonna chuck this into sort of, yeah, fish finger size pieces. Cause you gotta think it's a small little tortilla, so one or two of those per portion. So I'm just going to check the mix again. It's thickened up a bit since it's been resting. So that's all good. Check the consistency. And now we'll take it over to start frying. I've got my bat and my fish, somewhere to drain it, a little bit of sea salt to finish. I've got some uh, vegetable oil in here. And I'm going to fry it. So I've got probably 10 centimetres of oil in here. And I'm on about 170 to 180 degrees. And we're at 180, so perfect. So then I'm just gonna dredge my goujons in the batter mix and then straight into the hot oil. You've got to be very, very careful when you're cooking with oil, obviously, deep frying like this. Just be really, really careful, make sure all your utensils are dry before you put them in, things like that, and just make sure the oil doesn't get over 200 degrees because it'll start to smoke and can then catch fire. I'm just going to probe the fish here, exactly like what we do with cod and chips. That's 60 degrees, it's ready. A lovely golden brown colour. Always really, really important once you finish frying, turn that off and instruct anyone in the vicinity to be very, very careful because that's going to take at least, I'd say, half an hour to cool down. And then just some sea salt over the edge, top here. And as you can see, the beer's made it lovely and crispy and light. Now it's just a question of cooking my tortillas because these will be really hot. They can actually rest for four, three or four minutes. So I'm just putting these straight on a solid top. You can do it in a dry frying pan, but this cooks quite a few at once. And um, yeah, just 30 seconds or so on each side. You can chuck them in the microwave as well, no harm in doing that. Mm. 
tortilla down, fish, pico de gallo salsa, cabbage, avocado, and then, because I like it a bit spicy, just some hot sauce over it all of it. So, that is it. One of my favorite dishes in the entire world.